Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first nine commandments, and now it's time for the tenth. Don't covet his house, his house, house, house nor, his, nor field, his field, nor his, his manservant, man servant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, ass nor, nor anything, anything that, that is his. his. Deuteronomy 5.21b Last time we talked about what it means to have sinful thoughts and desires and what's meant by the word covet, namely that a thing is coveted only if you choose to desire it in a disordered or illicit way. Some desires are not illicit, and in fact are perfectly legitimate, as it says in the Catechism. The sensitive appetite leads us to desire pleasant things we do not have, e.g. the desire to eat when we are hungry, or to warm ourselves when we are cold. These desires are good in themselves, but often they exceed the limits of reason and drive us to covet unjustly what is not ours and belongs to another or is owed to him. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2535. So the commandment to not covet the possessions of your neighbor means to not choose to desire them in a disordered or illicit way. What do we mean by desiring our neighbor's goods in an illicit way? Well, here's an example. Say your neighbor owns a really sweet car, which on top of everything else gets really good gas mileage. Now, if you wish that you had a car like that too, that's not coveting, it's a legitimate desire. However, if you wish you could steal your neighbor's car or take it from him somehow, that would be coveting, because you're placing the good of the car over the good of obeying the seventh commandment, which is the wrong order to put things in. Legitimate desires are actually very good, and we should have those to help motivate us in our pursuit of goodness. However, some desires are for things that aren't good, like stealing or ripping someone off, and when we choose those kinds of desires, we're violating the Tenth Commandment. As the Catechism explains, It is not a violation of this commandment to desire to obtain things that belong to one's neighbor, provided this is done by just means. Traditional catechesis realistically mentions those who have a harder struggle against their criminal desires, and so who must be urged the more to keep this commandment. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2537. Next time, what's envy? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.